right, Caleb, what game are we playing today? Bugs in the Kitchen. Ooh, do you like Bugs in the Kitchen? Yes. Why? It's just a really fun game. Yeah? Cool. Well, why don't you show it to me? First of all, the game is actually in the box. That is the game. The bottom of the box is the game. Yes. That's pretty sweet. What have we got here? It looks pretty empty. Oops. Yeah, it kind of does. Oh, now it's full. <laughs> now we have a bug in the kitchen. Yep. And what's the objective of bugs in the kitchen? To get this bug into your compartment. Okay, so it looks like it's up to a four-player game. Yes, but you can play like three-player or two-player games. So you can have opposite corners of the board. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you try to get that bug in there. Well, yes. you just say, come on, buggy, let's go to my compartment. No, because then you'd be like, okay. And that well, bug, if I'm not mistaken, is a nano bug. Yes. Cool. Show me what he does. He dances all around. He's anxious to get out. So yeah. that's how he gets around. All right, so once you got the bug rolling, what do you do now? How do you play? You have to roll this dice. Okay. There are three question marks, which means you can do, you can rotate any of these. Okay. So on your turn, you roll that and you get? Um, I got a knife, so I have to rotate a knife. And I will do that. Okay. All right, and then you just take turns and everybody can roll the dice as fast as they want? Yep, and then it somehow goes... <laughs> You're trying to... Get, you can't yeah. touch the bug, though. No, you can't. That is against the rules. I just really wanted to do that. Uh, they get a <laughs> So he's frantically going over all the place. Everybody's rolling dice. Yes. Trying to change the puzzle. <laughs> so wherever he's going to go. Question mark. Yep. Pretty much it, and oh he still didn't my go into gosh! Your I know, he just doesn't want to. A knife. So you're pretending like you're taking everybody else's turn. Yes. And you can block him off. Someone else goes, but if there's four players, it's he's going to be going all over the place. All yeah. right, turn him off for a second so I can hear it a little better. Whoo! So eventually, he's going to go zip it off into one of somebody's compartment. compartment. And then what happens when they get in that compartment? Then you say, one second. <laughs> I need to show that I actually went down. Okay. Then okay. So once he gets say, into somebody's compartment, okay. then what? Let's say I would have in a four-player game. I say, okay, I won one match. I get one of the tokens. Oh, okay. So you get a token to say that you won one. Yes. And then the bug goes back in the goes center. back in the middle and you can do it. And you can reset. But you can actually do it multiple ways. Oh, show me. Is the... This is one of my favorite ways if I can remember how to do it. So you can have different setups on the board to start. You put him in the middle. You could really do whatever you want to start out a different way. It's time doing something different, huh? Mm-hmm. Let me just fun to twist. And the, seeing the bugs zip all around. Now you just show me all the different configurations. Yep. Oh, that's a cool one to start. And then once somebody gets five tokens, game's over? Yep. Declare a victor. All right. Well, Caleb, what would you rate bugs in the kitchen? I would rate it a 4.4. 4. Oh, who should get it? Uh, probably little kids. Okay. It's better for little kids. Why? It's just more fun for the little kids because they can be like yeah yeah and then it like views away last second and then they're like no and then they're just like rolling super frantically so just rotating so it's not really any strategy game. type game not really. it's just a frantic just fun go, watch go, the go, bug go, keep go. going fun for kids to laugh about mm -hmm. okay all right thanks Caleb